in today's lecture we are going to learn about balance sheet okay so this balance sheet it is included in financial management of agri business management so this balance sheet part is included in your practical syllabus as well as in your theory syllabus okay so we see different points in balance sheet okay so first of all meaning of balance sheet okay so this balance sheet is also called as net worth statement that means another name of balance sheet is net worth statement for objective type question it may be asked then definition of balance sheet so basically this balance sheet is nothing but it is a financial statement which shows the financial position of a farm business at a particular time period is known as balance sheet or net worth statement okay so basically this balance sheet is a statement which shows the financial position of a farm business at a particular time period is known as a balance sheet okay this is the definition of balance sheet after definition of balance sheet next point the components of balance sheet so there are major three components of balance sheet in that first one that is a sheet second one is liability and third one is equity okay so assets these are the things which are owned by the farmer is known as asset whereas liabilities these are all the things which are owed by the farmer to the other and equity it is nothing but the difference between assets and liability is known as equity so these are the three components of balance sheet we see in detail about this component so first that is asset so asset the definition of asset things which are owned by the farmer is known as asset that means whatever the things which are owned by the farmer is known as asset okay then different types of asset so there are major three types of assets in that first one that is current asset second one intermediate asset and third one that is long term asset okay so first one that means according to liquidity of asset this classification of asset is done on the basis of liquidity so first type of asset that is current asset so these current assets are very liquid form of assets and these current assets can be converted into cash form within a shorter period of time okay this is the current asset for example in case of current asset that is cash in a hand then agricultural produce like food grains then milk produce etc are included in current asset that means in case of current asset we can convert this current asset into cash form with a short period of time okay after that second type that is intermediate asset so these intermediate assets are required longer time period than the current asset to convert into cash form for example machineries equipments livestock are included in intermediate asset okay so this intermediate asset required longer time period to convert into cash form after that last type of asset that is long term asset so these long term assets are also known as fixed asset so this long term assets are required larger time period to convert into cash form for example land then farm building etc are included in long term asset and in case of long term asset the procedure that means conversion of this asset into the cash form requires some sort of procedure and this is the lengthiest procedure so it requires larger time period to convert into cash form so these are the three types of asset that is current asset intermediate asset and third one is long term asset okay so these are the first component of balance sheet that is asset these are the things which are owned by the farmer is known as asset after assets second component that is liability okay so liabilities are nothing but all the things which are owed to other by the farmer is known as liability okay so as like assets there are also three types of liabilities 
in that first one that is current liability second one is intermediate liability and third one is long term liability that means on the basis of repayment period of that particular liability these liabilities are classified into three classes okay so first of all we see the current liability so current liabilities can be repaid within the period of one year or one and half year okay for example short term loan are included in current liability okay all the short term loan or crop loan are included under current liability after current liability second type that is intermediate liability so this intermediate liabilities can be repaid within the period of 3 to 5 year okay that means this liability can be repaid within 3 to 5 year and all the medium term loan are included in intermediate liabilities okay after that last type that is long term liability so these long term liabilities can be repaid within the period of 5 to more than 20 years okay so all the long term loans are included in long term liability so these are the different types of liability after liability next component that is equity okay so equity the definition of equity it is the difference between total assets and total liability is known as equity okay so total assets minus total liability is equal to equity so if the liabilities are more than asset then we call as a net deficit that means if equity is negative then we call as a net deficit and if assets are more than liability then it is called as a net worth that means when the difference between assets and liability is positive then we call as a net worth okay when liabilities are more than assets then it is called as net deficit and when assets are more than liability then it is called as net worth okay so these are the three different components of balance sheet after that next point that is position of assets liability and equity in a balance sheet so position of this assets liability and equity is fixed on a balance sheet so while preparing balance sheet care must be taken always assets are written on left side of balance sheet that means whenever you start to write your balance sheet it is must to write all the assets on left side of a balance sheet then position of liability that means liabilities are written on right side of a balance sheet okay assets are written on left side whereas liabilities are written on right side of a balance sheet then if there is net worth net worth means when assets are more than liability then we call as a net worth and if there is net worth then this net worth is written on right side below the liability okay if there is net worth then it is written on right side below the liabilities and if there is net deficit net deficit means when liabilities are more than asset then this net deficit is written on left side below the assets sorry left side below the assets okay so this is the position of assets liability net worth and net deficit assets are always written on left hand side liabilities are always written on right hand side net worth is written on right hand side below the liabilities and net deficit it is written on left side below the assets okay so both sides are balanced hence it is called as a balance sheet that means asset side as well as liability side both sides are balanced so this statement is known as balance sheet okay after this position next one that is analysis of balance sheet so this balance sheet can be analyzed with the help of different test ratios okay so these are the different test ratio which are used for analysis of balance sheet we see one by one these different test ratio in that first ratio that is current ratio okay so current ratio formula for current ratio is equal to current asset divided by total current liability okay total current asset divided by total current liability we are getting
current ratio. This current ratio indicate the capacity of farmer to meet the immediate financial obligations. Okay, that means this current ratio indicate the capacity of farmer to meet immediate financial needs and this indicate liquidity within the one year. That means this current ratio indicate liquidity position of farm within the one year and if this current ratio is more than one then it indicate favorable run of business. Okay, this is the first ratio that is current ratio total current assets divided by total current liability and if this current ratio is more than one then it indicate favorable running of business okay after that second ratio that is intermediate ratio so this intermediate ratio formula for intermediate ratio is equal to total current asset plus intermediate asset divided by total current liability plus total intermediate liability Okay, so this intermediate ratio is equal to total current asset plus total intermediate asset divided by total current liability plus intermediate liability. This intermediate ratio is also known as working ratio. Okay, intermediate ratio is also known as working ratio and this working ratio indicate the liquidity position of farm business over a intermediate period ranging to 2 to 5 years. Okay. So, this intermediate ratio indicate liquidity position of a farmer from 2 to 5 years. Okay. And similarly, if this intermediate ratio is more than 1, then it indicate sound running of business. Okay. This is the second ratio that is intermediate ratio. After that, third ratio that is net capital ratio. So, net capital ratio is equal to total assets divided by total liability okay so these total assets are nothing but summation of current asset plus intermediate asset plus long term asset whereas total liabilities is the summation of current liability intermediate liability and long term liability so this net capital ratio is equal to total assets divided by total liabilities this inter uh, sorry net capital ratio indicate solvency position of a farmer uh, if this ratio is more than one then the funds of institutional agencies are set that means if this net capital ratio is greater than one then it indicate whatever the loan or funds which are taken from institutional agency that funds are set that means farmer is capable to repay his entire loan amount within a stipulated time period that is net capital ratio after net capital ratio next one or next ratio that is current liability ratio so this current liability ratio is equal to total liability divided by owner's equity okay so this current liability ratio indicate farmers immediate financial obligation okay so this indicate farmers immediate financial obligation and if this ratio is less than one that it indicate healthy performance of business okay current liability ratio if it is less than one then it indicate healthy performance of business this is the current liability ratio after that next one that is debt equity ratio so debt equity ratio is equal to total debt divided by owner's equity okay so from its name you have to remember the formula of debt equity so debt it is the first word so write total debt on upper side and equity it is the second word so write owner's equity on lower side okay so this is the total debt upon owner's equity that is debt equity ratio this debt equity ratio indicate capacity of farmer to meet long term commitments that means whatever the commitments of farmer to repay the loan amount within a stipulated time period that commitment can be fulfilled by that particular farmer it indicated by this debt ratio okay 
okay. if this depth equity ratio is less than 1 then it indicate healthy performance of business that means if depth equity ratio is less than 1 then and then only it indicate sound running of business or healthy performance of business okay this is the depth equity ratio after depth equity ratio next ratio that is equity value ratio okay so equity value ratio formula for equity value ratio equity value ratio is equal to owner's equity divided by value of asset okay owner's equity divided by total asset is the formula for equity value ratio and this equity value ratio indicate productivity gain by the farmer in relation to assets he has that means whatever the productivity of farmer along with its uh, assets that can be indicated by this equity value ratio and this equity value ratio if it is less than 1 then it indicate sound running of business or healthy performance of business okay so these are the different test ratios which are used for analysis of balance sheet okay so next one that is hypothetical example of balance sheet so in this picture we can see the balance sheet how this balance sheet is prepared so uh, see in here uh, assets these assets are right on left side whereas liabilities are right on uh, written on right hand side whereas the total uh, these are the current assets then intermediate asset long term assets these are the written on this side assets and here the current liabilities long term liabilities are written on right hand side okay so this is the example of balance sheet okay so question may be asked on this topic like define balance sheet and explain in detail about balance sheet okay so many of time the short notes on us write short note on balance sheet and in case of practical there is numerical calculation on this balance sheet that means you have to find out different test ratios from the given data or given values okay so this is all about today's session that is balance sheet okay thank you all